Hi, this video is to show you how to utilize Shopee Payment Reconciliation. Firstly, you need to click on Marketplaces and then select Payment Reconciliation for Shopee. This orange button right here, click into it and you are able to see four reports. For first time users, you will need to click on any of the report first. Then you will be seeing a warning showing up. Click on OK and you will need to click on this button right here to enable the sync. So once you have enabled the sync, you will need to click on OK. And these are few of the things that you will need to take note of. For first time users, once you have enabled this sync button, you will need to wait for the next day to be able to see the data. Secondly, the system will pull in the information till the past three months from the day you enabled the sync. Let us look into the general report first. Once you are in the general report page, you are able to see all of the orders showing up. And if you see orders without any data, do not worry because all these orders have not been completed and Shopee haven't released the payment to you yet. What you need to do here is to filter for the older orders or the paid orders. Click on this filter button here and you can filter by the date range or you can select this column to find and look for paid orders. Click apply and then you can see all of the paid orders from your Shopee seller center showing up. For general report, you can have a look into the income amount on the right side. Click on the arrow down button to view more information. And as you can see here, we have a summary tab for you. You can see how much the customer has paid, how much the customer has paid for shipping, is there any rebate or any vouchers being used, and what are the transaction and commission fee that is being charged for this order, and how it adds up to show you the income amount. So this is the basic information that you can find in general report. Next, let us look into the shipping overcharge report. But before we get into that report, let me tell you one similarity between this shipping overcharge report, transaction report, and commission report have in common. All these three reports will have this column called the overcharge amount. And if the overcharge amount here shows a dash or a hyphen, it means that there is no overcharge amount. And if it shows an amount in red color, it means that Shopee has overcharged you. Now let us look into this shipping overcharge report. Firstly, what you need to do is to click on this filter button right here. You can select the date range. And most importantly, you will need to enter the shipping fee overcharge minimum amount, which is the amount that you are willing to overlook for the overcharge. For example, I'll put in 10 cents and click apply. So the result will show you all of the orders that have been overcharged by Shopee. You can click on the arrow down button as well and it will show you the information here. From here, we can see that the customer has paid 9 ringgit for shipping. However, Shopee has charged you 14 ringgit for the shipping fee. So at this overcharge amount here, we will show you an overcharge amount of 5 ringgit. So once you have looked into all these shipping overcharge orders, you can click on this button here and select export report. You can download the report and pass it to the Shopee support team to help you with the overcharge claim. The next report that we are going to look into is the transaction report. Shopee charges all sellers a percentage to cover for the payment gateway fees. Hence, this report is to show you which order is being overcharged for the transaction fee. This report is similar to the shipping overcharge report. So you will need to click on the filter button. You can filter by the date range and also you will need to enter the transaction fee overcharge minimum amount. For an example, I can put in 10 cents and click apply. If you do not have any orders with the transaction overcharge, you will see no result found. Last but not least, let us talk about the commission report. A commission fee will be applied to all local marketplace sellers for more than 100 completed orders since the day you started selling on Shopee. This report works similar to the shipping overcharge report and the transaction fee overcharge report. Click on the filter button. You can then filter by the date range. For an example, I'll select the entire month of August and you will need to put in the commission rate as well. For an example, the commission rate for this store is 2.12. Last but not least, you'll also have to put in the commission fee overcharge minimum amount. For an example, I'll put in 10 cents and click apply. And if there are no overcharge on the commission fee, then it will show you no results found. So these are all four reports that we have for Shopee Payment Reconciliation. Thank you for watching.